Oh, this is... This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. It's, it's gonna be fine, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I've been preparing for this. Can I... Can I... Can I come out now? I promise you'll be... You'll be gentle to me, alright? Alright? Oh, okay, I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna come out slowly. Oh, yeah. Hello? Hello? Oh. Nice to meet you! Nice to meet you! I'm so happy to be able to finally see you all. I've been waiting for so long and there's, there's so many of you. Hello, everyone. My name... My name is Nankan Alice. And... Uh, uh, I'm just so nervous, I'm just so nervous. Uh, it's finally here. I'm finally here. And... Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. I know I've been waiting. I've been waiting for it too. And... Oh uh, yeah. I know. I hope we'll have a wonderful year together. You and me. Here. Because... That's all I will have left. But... Even though that's all I have left... I still hope we can have a good time. Now... Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Alright? Uh, so, a little bit about basic information. My name is Nankan Alice. You can just call me Alice. Mm, my birthday is January 8th. And my age is officially very complicated, you know? Cause all the time traveling stuff I did. Going back in time and over and over again. There's experience time, there's objective time. So, it's just very complicated. It's just really complicated. It, uh, um, so, don't mind it. Don't mind my age, it's not, it's not important. Regarding my height, I am uh, 148 centimeters, or in three moments, um, four something, ten something, which is one centimeter is taller than the legal definition of dwarfism. All right, you gotta remember that. You will remember it. I am one centimeter above the legal definition of dwarfism. I am not short. I am tall. I'm legally tall. I am, but it's it is uh, it is it is slender. It is it is bad, bad, bad. Mm, no, not small, not small, not short. Mm. I speak Mandarin Chinese, which is my first language, and English, which. Unfortunately, I don't speak that well. I only moved to Canada only about six, seven years ago. So my English is like grade three, four elementary school level. Uh, I encounter words I don't understand on a daily basis. So please be a little bit patient with me. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. And regarding occupation, I am a magical girl, but retired. So, I don't do magical girl things anymore because, you know, as you saw in the animation, I, uh, I found this shadowy thing. Yeah, it is very big, it is very evil, 
It's very bad I want to blow up the world and kill everyone. So, I must not let it kill everyone, basically. So, I, so I, you know, I'm trying my best to stop it. So, I use my time magic to go back in time over and over again to stop it from ruining everything. And in the end, I didn't win. But... Um, it came at a cost. You see, going back in time, using my magic powers, it drains my own lifespan. So... Because I went back in time and tried so many times over and over again, trying to defeat it. In the end, when I finally won, I pretty much have a year's life left. The city should be safe for this year because monsters don't appear that frequently, but you know, I'm retired now and I will live. This is my retirement life. The one year I have. And I live here. And I want to spend it with you. I have 365 days left. In Japanese, Nankan means the period with one, one year. Or it just basically means one year. And thus, I only have one year to live. I have debuted on 5 p.m. Pacific time on March 30th, 2024. And exactly one year from now, exactly on March 30th, 2025, also on 5 p.m., I would graduate. It is inevitable. There's nothing that you or me can do to make this happen. There's no being saved by the power of love. There's no sudden death ex... Uh, uh, what's it called? Death ex machina? To save me from... Leaving here. When the time comes... When I have zero days left... When I finish my graduation stream... I will be alone, I will walk into the dark night of eternity forever. And when that happens, on to all the vods, YouTube videos and content created under this theme, Nankainalis will be permanently made unavailable. But before that happens, we still have a year. We still have probably 300 or so streams that I can spend here with you together to make every second count, to create an unforgettable memory, to make this year the best year of my life. So, stay with me. Okay, stay with me and if you do that, I'll be a little bit less scared. Some things about I like and dislikes. Um, I'll go over this a little bit more on my next stream, the debut part 2, because of we have a limited time today as well. The things I like include sleep, pretending to sleep, having rainy weather outside, which is also really good for sleeping, by the way, and pillows. Which usually I'm, they're, they're soft and fluffy, and uh, they won't say mean things to you as long as as long as I take my meds on time. That is. For the things I dislike, I don't like horror games. 
because I'm super scared of them. I'm I'm absolutely terrified of them. Uh, I don't like going outside because you know there's a lot of people there and they scare me too. People are scary. I don't like eggplant. It's the worst food in existence. And finally, I don't like drama. For this one year, I want to be the best person I could be. I want to be something pure. Something like, you know, an idol. I want to stay off of Twitter stuff. Have people argue each other because life is short and... We need the time. The time we have... Isn't that to love? Instead of arguing with each other, with each other, you know? Scouts, I'm gonna move away a little bit so you can see. Oh. Oh. There we go. I hope you saw that. Mm. Before I became a magical girl, I was, uh, I wrote, I wrote web novels on the internet. So, I know a little bit about writing and world building as well. And other than that, um, stunks. <laughs> yeah, well, why? Cause, cause, cause magical girl need need to make a living too, alright? You know, magical girl finding giant monsters doesn't doesn't pay you money. Okay, um. <sighs> It's, and it's pretty difficult to find a job when you are spending your entire night on outside, flying around, finding stuff, and and you often spend the next day just sleeping. Right? If you sleep on work, you're gonna get fired. It's very bad. So like, I need a way to make a living somehow, isn't it? Yeah. Here is an accurate depiction of myself that I drew. It stonks. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Regarding the media, media. Mm, is it how it's media that I like? Uh, I enjoy. I enjoy a lot of anime. You can say that I am a person of culture. Possibly. I enjoy... I'm a very simple person, right? I enjoy anime that has... Cute girls do suffering. 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 And... Of course... Finally... Cute girls do suffering. Based. I'm so based. I'm so based. Isn't it? True. Um, one extra special mention though is a, is a manga that's super niche but I also really like. It's called Forex Fighter Kurumi chan. It's basically about cute girls doing training for an exchange. Paris. Um. I don't train for an exchange pairs anymore, but it's a super accurate depiction of what I feel like, what people feel like when they lose and make money. So this manga is very niche and there's not many people read it, but I li like I really, really like it. I even bought physical copies of it, I think. Mm, music. I enjoy Japanese music. Some. Of the artists I listen to include Kaf, Sayori, Luna, Ano, Ariana, and such. Um, also really like Flora Robinson, but it's like kind of half Japanese music at this point. Yes, I am a gigantic weeb. Wakamai <laughs> one, yeah, Wakamai. Hmm. My favorite song of all time is Nanashi Mume's Mume. It's so beautiful, so powerful. I wish I would I wish I can cover it someday. Maybe I will do it. And generally 
I listen to music as white noise when I work. So, I tend to avoid music that contains lyrics which I understand. Um, I used to listen to some English music as well before I moved here. But as I learned English and I was able to understand what the lyrics mean, um, listening to the song while understanding what they're singing can be kind of distracting. So I just stopped listening to English music and like basically I'm gonna listen to Japanese music now. Now that she moved from Holo Life? Yeah, yeah. Her song, her original song is my favorite song of all time. Some games I like, um... I like From Software games. You know, it's a... This might be a controversial opinion, but like, I feel like FromSoft games are kind of like real life when you think about it. Uh... Yeah. I'm gonna play a fair bit of FromSoft Souls-like games, I think. And uh, other than that, when, I, when, I, when I'm by myself, chill. I will play some City Skylines. I enjoy games where I build stuff. I enjoy building stuff more than I enjoy more than I enjoy blowing stuff up. I wish there's more games about building stuff, because most of the games are about blowing stuff up, you know. I would also play Valorant, but I'm so bad at it, it's not even funny. Other than that, Holo Cure as well. Holo Cure is an awesome game. That my favorite part about it is the house module that um, where you have a house, you have a you can farm, you can fish, and you can hang out with other cute girls. You can decorate your house like that. When I'm feeling alone, when I'm lonely and I have no one to talk to and I don't know what to do. Um, um, I would just lock- I would just go into this game And I would just fish For like, four hours Hollow Break comes out yesterday, Hollow Cure no game I'm gonna play that as well I'm definitely gonna play that Yes mm, I also enjoy games with good storytelling Such as visual novels, but they can be a difficult thing to present on stream, so I don't know if I'm going to stream them or not. Finally, cute girls are always a bonus, right? I wish more games have are not. I wish I wish more games are not afraid to have cute girls. And then, if it's a good game, a cute girl make it great. If it's a medium game. Cute girls make it better. If it's a bad game, cute girls make it less bad. Just literally, it just makes it's, it's it's it just makes it better. It just makes it better. You know, I enjoy seeing cute stuff. I enjoy seeing beautiful stuff. Mm, hashtags and stuff. My Yoshi mark is this hourglass, the ribbon. After halfway point, which is around 180 something days after my debut, halfway between debut and graduation, um, and this, the hourglass will switch to upside down. But don't worry about that when the time comes. If you like cute girls, you should play gacha games. I blew up my money on this VTuber thing. I don't have money for gacha games anymore. But if I become rich again, I'm, 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 I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. My general hashtag is just gonna be Nankanales, my name. My fan name, what I came up with is Kippies. It's timekeepers to keepers to make it cute her so it's kippies. Alright, can I call you kippies now? Kippies. Uh Some fun things about me. Um, 
One of my web novels was selected to be translated, but the deal with contract is too complicated. They need to like ship it to Canada and have I have to sign it and then I have to ship it back. So I didn't bother with it. I have a little brother, which is much younger than me. He's like six or seven years old now. He doesn't understand what I'm doing. Um, also as a joke, um, I cosplayed as Pekra. Wait, no. Um, I bought, I bought, uh, I bought, I bought cover stock. I bought cover cover stock. Um, I bought a little bit of cover cover stock, but initially, initially, just as a joke, but slowly I began to realize I think it's actually a decent investment, so I just keep adding. I have a few thousand dollars worth of cover corp stock right now. Yeah. And I have a financial success. A, a, a financial interest in the success of whole life. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> um, but however, I have made some uh, questionable financial choices. Such as. Spending two thousand dollars on the video game that is not going to complete before I, like before before my end. Yeah. Um, one day I might give you a tour of my two thousand dollars. It's actually closer to two thousand five hundred dollars of of JPEG spaceship collection. But I mean, I don't even play this game. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? <laughs> One um, final thing is... Look at the, the eye of how this eye with the clock. It's much worse than the other eye. So if I open and use both eyes... Um, I can see normally. Basically normally, but if I close this one and I just leave this one open... I can I can barely see I can't even see the screen. I can't even read what's on the screen right now. So I have prescription glasses but I refuse to wear them because because I don't like how they look. Um, in daily life this really doesn't affect me. But just a fun thing trivia, maybe like I don't know, maybe the clock is doing something to make my eyesight worse. Because um, a lot of YouTubers have goals and list what content should people be expecting. I have decided basically to compile those items into a list, a bucket list of some sort that basically is somewhere I think 24 things I want to do before I kick the bucket. And uh, here we go. I want to... These are the things I want to finish before my run ends. If I can do them all, I would have happily... I, w I, w I will be able to happily go out into the sunset, into the night, and have no regrets. I want to finish as much of these items as possible in the one year I have and a lot of them are probably gonna, gonna require your help as well for one first I'm gonna have a happy debut which is what I'm doing right now I would like to make 10 friends I would have I want to have a collab with another YouTuber Go on a date and stay up all night from when the sun goes down to the sun comes up again. Here, streaming, hanging out with you. It sounds really fun. I haven't, I haven't put an all nighter before. I was, I was, I was a good girl, you know. I don't. I, <laughs> I was such a good girl. I didn't even do that. Um, other things. I want to have... I'll be really happy if someone draw me a piece of fan art. It doesn't matter if the art is good, the effort is enough. 
I want to meet someone I don't can only dream of meeting. And I guess we'll just see how it's gonna go. I want to go to a convention. Um, I'm probably going to go to Ofkai and TwitchCon. I have the ticket spot. And I also want to travel to Japan for one last time to see this beautiful country that I always wanted to travel to. It's my first time traveling internationally alone, it will be. But I think I could do it. And I also host a charity stream to, you know, help people. In the gaming front, I would like to be the difficult game and be the horror game as well. Even though I'm super scared of the horror games, you know, you gotta you gotta fix your fear. I, I want to fix my fear for once. I want to get gold in a competitive video game, which I'm always bad at. I was iron in League of Legends. Iron and Valorant, not even ranked in Apex. It's probably Apex or Valorant, but I want to try my absolute best. To try my best and just see how far can I get. If I really, really try. And what kind of rank I can get to. Uh, other than that, it would be really nice if I can have a speedrunning world record. You know? Um, I would also like to write a novel. I haven't wrote stories in a while, and it will be the first time I write in English. My English isn't that good, so the prose might not be super beautiful, but I already have an idea of what to write, and I want to do it. I want to finish it, finish the story before the year ends. I want to make an ASMR video. And I want to try voice acting. Cause they are very idol. Idol like stuff, you know? I wanna be an idol. I would also learn another language. And learn how to do art. Cause you gotta keep learning. Even... Even when... Even, even, even if I don't have much time, there is meaning in learning stuff itself. Right? And before I go, before my time ends, I want to celebrate my last birthday on stream. I want to make an original song. I'll cook an elaborate last meal for myself. I'll leave a message to everyone who loved me. And then finally, after everything, I want to have a happy goodbye. So that I can smile. So that I can smile knowing that everything I want to do has been fulfilled. So I can smile knowing that I had a great year. You know? I hope when that day comes, I will help you to smile and maybe you can smile as well. Now on the credit section. Somewhere around 40 people I think have worked on this project in one capacity or the other. Unfortunately due to time constraints I wouldn't be able to go over each and every one of them super detailed. So I'm just gonna say the important ones. I'm really, really thankful for my mono artist Lokon and my regular Kevax art for making making me so pretty, you know? Uh, this is everything, this model is everything I wanted. I just it's just so pretty, it's so beautiful. I cannot it's it's like it's just the same, if not better than what it is in my dreams. I also have special thanks for the artist for the reference sheet, Nana Sekiseka, and my manager Tessa, who helped me put everything together and reach out and help me reach out to people and help me to do a lot of the marketing stuff that I didn't know how to do myself. Here is my reference sheet, 
I'm going to post on Twitter later. And uh, I hope, I wish, I'll be really happy if someone makes an art of it. Makes a fan art of it, you know? The animation you see at the beginning is largely done by the amazing, very talented Alamas. Alamas. And he has a he basically did everything. He even offered to do the music, but I have another composer. Oh. What the Wait, 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 I think my VTube studio just crashed. Help. This is this is fine. 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 I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. Ah. 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 Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Um, right. All of us have uh, some Hololife fan animation on on his YouTube that are also really well made, and it's how I discovered them. And you should check them out if you have time. The these are the people who worked on the lore video, and. Uh, these are the people who made my stream assets. And more. Don't ask why there's two chat box. It's just don't ask. Okay? Just just don't ask. <laughs> and here are some more people who did illustration for me who I commissioned art from. And more. Yeah. They all did a wonderful job, and a lot of people, I'm, I'm really glad I get to work with all those amazing people. Now on to the schedule. Tomorrow at the same time at 5pm, I'm going to have a debut part 2. Where I talk a little bit more about myself. Introduce a little bit more about how... Um, the things I like. And just... physically... A little bit less informal. Yeah, electric book a little. I will also have a QA section, which you can submit questions on my marshmallow right now. There are marshmallowqa.com slash nankanas. I would try to answer as much question as I could. And uh, we have some time left. So, I'll show you around my room, and I'll show you around my model, shall we? Oh, okay. Hello! Here's the second chat box that, um, that I just said. Well, don't ask why there's two different chat, bo chat boxes, there just is. Uh, so, here I am. This is what my entire physical form that I look like. Um, I have a bunch of expression. I have so much expression. It doesn't even fit on one stream deck page. Like a, f a, a 4 by 8. 32 buttons and it's still not enough. I can't do... I should probably zoom in for this. I can't... I can't... I can't do blush. I can't be very hungry, and you? I can be sad. Uh, I can be shocked. What the fuck, bro? I can have this very disappointing expression. I have had another very disappointing expression. I can... To some, I don't know, GFE expression. I can smirk. I can have a different smirk. I can cry very hard. Mm. Mm. 
Um, I can have this angry mouth face. I can have the starry eye face. Ah. I can. I have a pillow. Pillow very soft. Me very like. Very like. I can. I can turn on my clock eyes on or off. I have a controller. I have a phone which I can use to do scroll twitter.com in real time. Or <coughs> or it's been changed as code X now, which arguably make it worse. It, it is it is worse. It is probably worse. I can have this Sakiro danger expression. I can... Uh, oh! Uh, your VTuber... Or sorry. Your VTuber encountered a critical error. I need to restart. We are collecting some data. And we are restarting it for you. Uh, I'm back. Restart completed. I can also... Do my... Make my eyes go like this, I guess. So silly. I can. I can. Yeah. And I can. And also, I can even jump. I can jump. And I can also walk. Yeah. It's a really pretty model, it's a really well on the model and I'd like to give extend my thanks to my regular Kevax art again to make this possible. Oh, also oh wait, I forgot. I think I can turn into a chevy. I just wait, I gotta find a book but here we go. Yep. I can I can become small and I can become normal once again. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Cute. Thank you. Thank you. Now, before we go, there's a little bit, just one little last thing that I have for you. There's a Japanese phrase called Ichigo Nichiya. Ichigo means one period, one lifetime. Ichiya means one encounter. Together, it just means a once in a lifetime encounter or experience that cannot be repeated. In the next 300 or so streams, I got to spend with you. I hope it will become something as important, as touching to you as it will be for me. The, dog is, the clock is ticking. We have 365 days left. And all those dreams, once they're gone, such an encounter will never happen again in our lifetimes. When they're over, it's over. This is the once in a lifetime encounters that cannot be repeated. So, before it ends, let's cherish the moment we have and let's make every second count, shall we? I'll be here until the very end. And this is why. At this lady by art hashtag to be one five one art. In Japanese it means one and go means five. So together, one five one art basically represents art that depicts those once in a lifetime encounters. Art that showcase the once in a lifetime moments that we, me and you, are going to have together. Hello world, and nice to finally meet you. 
My name is Nankan Alice. Three hundred and sixty-five days left. Thank you for coming to Vanderbilt. Thank you for showing up. And I look forward to spend the best year of my life together right here with you. Okay? Thank you.